For us, the Panda Project is about three things, conservation, education and research. And Beyond the Panda Project is absolutely an educational programme which allows us to explain to people the good work that's going on here with our pandas, but also the good work that's going on in China. And so, of course, the whole idea of that is to hopefully inspire the next generation of future conservationists. A really important part of the Beyond the Panda programme is the outreach. I go out into schools with workshops and these involve educational games and activities. The children really enjoy building up jigsaws, playing board games, but during this they're learning not only about the giant pandas, some aspects of their biology, conservation, but more about China, the geography of China, the culture and language. With the support of Jaguar Land Rover China, we were able to create the Beyond the Panda website, which has lesson plans and activities which the teacher can use within the classroom. The new idea is that we're going to launch a China mobile library. This will allow the schools to have a loan of a panda box. This means the teacher can use these games and activities in a lot more depth. Today on Middleton Park News, our P5 pupils went to Edinburgh Zoo because they won a competition. Out with the outreach programme, we wanted to continue engagement with the pupils, so we set a few challenges and competitions. One of these was a take action challenge, which we wanted the pupils to come up with their own ideas of how to promote the conservation work that we do. As a result of this, we've had leaflets produced by the pupils, we've had a Scotland-China game, and we have an online panda game that you can move between the different habitats of China. And then there was a short story competition run jointly with the Confucius Institute for Scotland Schools. Jaguar Land Rover China also made it possible for a group of students and teachers from Last Wade High School, along with myself, to visit Shiswan. We went to a school in Yan, where the Scottish and Chinese students were able to meet up, interact and share a bit about their lives in the different countries. Following this, we went on to Bifengzha Giant Panda Base. That's one of the conservation reserves that we work with. The students were able to prepare the bamboo and feed the giant pandas. This was a once in a lifetime experience for the students and a really valuable cultural exchange. Another one of our partners in the Beyond the Panda Education Programme is the Scotland China Education Network. In conjunction with them, we hold China Days at the zoo, where a large number of pupils from various schools get to visit the giant pandas, do some activities, and the children get the opportunity to present the work that they have been doing in China to the other schools. Going forward, we want to build upon all the exciting work that we've done so far and to continue to use the Beyond a Panda Education Programme to develop ever closer connections between Scotland and China.